All right. Welcome back here to the KPMG Women's PGA. I am pleased to be joined by the 2023 champion, Runing Yin. Runing, what does it mean to you to walk off and become a major champion today? It means a lot, but I still feel so unreal right now. Um, I mean, after, before today, I didn't even think about it. And uh, after nine holes, at, when we at a clubhouse, I started thinking about, oh, maybe I have a chance to win this championship. Yeah. All right, we'll start opening it up. I will start over there with Jeff. You were giving yourself some chances and, and didn't make any putts to the first 10 or so holes. What finally started working with the putter that got you going? Um, I think I had a couple chances on the front nine, but I just um, missed it. But um, yeah, my caddy and I just were talking about just be patient and uh, putts will fall. And uh, I, I think on the back nine, I have a couple, like maybe 12 footer. And uh, yeah, just make, made it. 13, 14? Yeah. Uh, I mean, at age 20, what is any of this sunken in yet, being a major champion out here? I'm sorry? At, at age 20, has any of this sunken in yet, that you're a major champion out here? Not really. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, uh, when, when I was walk on, walking this tent, um, I just thought, I just said, oh, wow, major ch winner. It's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just unreal. Yeah. All right, Bethann. Yes, how much were you looking at leaderboards down the stretch, and did you know what that last putt meant? Yeah, uh, I look at the leaderboard all the time because um, I like to look at the leaderboard because I know where – what position I'm at, um, yeah, just, I think I was on 18T, I just look at a leaderboard, I saw, oh, I have one shot lead. And then just when I walked down to the fairway and I saw Yuka make, made a birdie there, and I, I know I have to make birdie on 18 to win this, yeah. So can you walk us through that last putt then and what you were feeling? Um, actually, Lauren showed me the line for, for a little bit. And uh, I just, yeah, I just talked to my caddy, like um, maybe left edge. And uh, I just put a very clutch putt. <laughs> I'd say so. All right, we'll go down here to Gene. Yeah, have you thought about what this could mean for golf in China, for you winning, you know, the second Chinese player to win a major championship? I think that means a lot. Um, I'm, I'm glad that I can be the second Chinese player after Shenzhen win a major. And uh, I think, yeah, like I said, after LA Open, I think it's going to push a lot, um, push a lot of kids to play golf. Yeah. Max? Just on another topic, and not to take away from, you know, your fantastic day here, but, you know, Rose Zhang, also a 20-year-old, I just, you know, have you had a chance to, you know, talk to her a little bit since she's been out on tour? And, and you know, do you have an opinion on, you know, what she's been able to do in her first two starts as a professional? Uh, I haven't really got a chance to talk to her, but I mean, what she, what she done is just amazing. I mean, first first tournament as a pro, she won. Just, yeah, incredible. All right, we'll go back here to Sarah. You're also a player that won pretty early in their professional career. I mean, when you look back to 2021, um, you were at Q Series, finished T4 to get your card, and, and now you're here. How much did you grow in 2022, maybe even at the beginning of 2023, that really propelled you to this moment? You seem like a totally different person. Um, I mean, first first thing, I think my English improved a lot. And the uh, second is my game, just more, I think, I think more mature. Like before, I just um, go to the... I mean, straight out of flag every every shot, and right now I, I think I play smart, more smarter right now. How did you learn to do that? Was it just by watching some of the girls that you played with, or? or? Um, actually, from my coach, because um, we I mean, he always um, said you're such a ball striker. Uh, I mean, such a good ball striker. Uh, you just need to. Um, you know, play smart and focus on your line or on your target, and you're gonna be fine. Yeah, I think we we're doing doing good right now. 
And finally, what is it about those final putts that are a little lengthy <laughs> on, um, on final greens that really gets you going and, and you never seem to blink when those happen? Um, I, I actually kind of, I felt that I was going to make it <laughs> and I, I made it. Um, it's very um, weird, weird feeling. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go back to Beth Ann. If my math is right, I think you were nine when Shen Shen won uh, her her major title. Were you playing golf then? Do you remember much about it? I didn't even start play golf back then. Yeah, um, yeah, I think so. What? How old were you when you started playing? Ten and a half. Oh. Yeah, I think first year Janet play on tour. I start play golf. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and do, what spurred you on to playing? Why did you want to? Uh, I was, I'm a huge basketball fan. And uh, I, was, I always told my mom, like, if I'm maybe 10 centimeter higher, I'll, I'll probably just go play basketball, not golf. <laughs> 10 centimeters higher. Uh, Chris, over here. Is it safe to say that rent is going up now? I'm sorry? Is it safe to say that the rent is going to go up now? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I'm actually thinking about buy her house right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, just think about it. How, what was uh, Shan Shan's influence on you? Um, I would say um, she's definitely the goal that, that I'm chasing. But um, I think she is the person who inspired me the most, I would say that. Do you have interaction with her at all? Uh, not, not really. Didn't get a chance. She, I think she left. Yeah. And then from a basketball standpoint, who's your favorite player? Who's your favorite team? Who did you want to be when, when, you, were, when you were playing? Stephen Curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a nine years Curry fan. That's a pretty long time. Okay. Jeff? Have you always been somebody who stays pretty calm in the, in the big moments? Um, I think I'm a calm person, and uh, also my coach is he's pretty calm. Like every time I I had something wrong and uh, I was oh uh, emotion and uh, I just talked to him, he just like, chill, you'll be fine. I was like, okay. And and did you talk to Janet after the round? Uh, didn't get a chance yet. No, I didn't get a chance. Yeah. What what would you say to her? Uh, well, good question. Um. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I don't know. Kind of cool, both of you right there. You, you're, uh, it was a big day for your caddy as well. You've only had him on the bag a couple of weeks. The two of you clicked pretty instantly, and, and he said he came and walked this golf course. Was that a help? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he know the course very well, like um, especially on the green. He just know every part of the green. And uh, we start, um, I think, on at our first tournament at Shop Red. I just read my grain by myself and uh, um, this week he, he just told me um, he's really good at reading. I was like, okay, let's see. And uh, yeah, he's amazing. All right, we'll uh, wrap here with, oh, Beth Ann. Yeah, just one, just one more. Um, have you ever played Pebble Beach? What do you know about it? I played once when I was 12, but I, I couldn't remember. But um, I, the only thing I remember is the rough, like super sick. Yeah. Was that vacation or? Uh, it was like a winter camp. Oh. Oh, like... yeah, and I shoot 88. Not was good. that with a national team? No. Oh. No, just a winter camp. Okay. Also, just I just wanted to ask, you know, there's a historic line of champions that have won on this course, Jack Nicholas, Phil Mickelson, uh, Mickey Wright, you know, what does it mean to you to, to add that name and, you know, eventually you'll have your, your picture in the famed clubhouse here? Oh, that, that'll be awesome. I mean, even I think about that right now, I've I got goosebumps. I mean, they're all legend, and uh, I'm glad that I can be part of it. And winning at a historic track like this, does that add any importance or any significance to the victory, or, you know, you, a win is just a win in your mind? Just one tournament. Um, I think there's more calm. Yeah. All right, we'll wrap with Sarah. 
as somebody that was inspired by you know one player playing so well from from your home country to maybe be that one player for another Ronnie Yen I mean what does that mean to you if you could put that into words mm, I would say um, that means a lot I mean she, um, me and she were super close and uh, um, well, it's hard to tell. Um, I mean, we're kind of, we're all want to push China golf to um, move to the next step, a step. And uh, I think we're doing good. And just, I want her to win as well. And I hope, hope next time she, won she win, I can be there too. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rooney. Thank you. Congratulations.